Daddy Easy is now sponsored with GameDS, where you can get all your gaming accessories at GameDSGaming.com. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? The Axe is your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jabra Hacker, otherwise known as only using the Tomahawks, and some of y'all know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So today I'm doing a Review for a nice gaming keyboard. This is coming from Gamius. Basically, it's the Hermes Light mechanical gaming keyboard. So, let's dig down and show you what this keyboard can do. So, we're gonna basically go over what um the features is on towards this keyboard, what it can actually do, what some of the settings on it, profiles, things like that. So, no further ado, let's jump inside the keyboard and see exactly what this keyboard can do. Okay guys, here you go. Here is the Game Gears Hermes Lite gaming keyboard right here. Now, it does have a lot of features on this keyboard. So let me just push this up up front so you guys can see it. Now, it does have this armrest right here. Um, now, these names does have it. It's like um, Zeus, Hades, all the names basically right here. This is the Hermes Lite. Um, basically it has a lot of settings on towards it which I do like so if you hit let's just bring this right here so you baby see it um let's just turn off my light real quick so you baby to see the keys a little bit better and close up my blind so you baby see these LED lights a little bit better so as you can see right here here's the keys everything right here so if you hit function two and um press it down, the lights dim down. If you hit function up, you have three settings right here. If you hit it one more time, it's gonna go into the breathing effect, as you can see right there. Now you can actually change the speeds on it on the keyboard on um, on the program. I'm still learning the keyboard a little bit more towards the functions of how to speed it up, speed it down, um I know it's one of the keys, but I'm not going to try to do it on here. I think it's function four. I know it's one of them to actually slow down the breathing on towards it. So, um, yeah. Now, here's something that you don't really see on a lot of keyboards. If you notice right here, the directional pad, as you can see, WASD, it's right here, WASD on this one. You notice how it has the up, down, left, right keys on that. And you notice over here it has the same thing um, up down left right on here so that's one thing that you already see now the reason why they have that is if you press function um if you press function where's the key at so I can actually find the uh here it is function f4 if you press function f4 which is right here you see that it actually changes to a different um key lock right there w uh, a which is going to switch it over to those keys right there they switch the function on um, side from over from this side to this side so you don't accidentally hit this right here to open up the windows um, thing right here so that's actually the function button um, I believe you can change this around I'm not completely sure uh, I'm still reading the manuals I'm still doing everything I just used this keyboard for about two days and I'm still getting used to everything on top of this as you notice as the light flickers that the scroll lock, number lock, and the cap lock stays on as this thing breathes. And if I hit function two and turn it all the way off, those keys stay on all the time when press the keys. That's a feature that I do like on this keyboard. Now this is using uh, TTC switches, which is red. Uh, it's basically the same as MX Cherry Reds, which I'm going to allow you to see those actual keys. So I'm going to just pop off one of the keys real quick. As you can see right here. So as you can see the key right there is using a red switch right here. Um, you might not be able to see the name TTC on it because it's actually dark in here. Yeah, the name is on it. It says TTC right here, but you're not going to be able to see it because actually... Um, dent it down so you won't be able to, you know, so you'll be able to see the nominations towards the keyboard. So you can see there's the switches right there. This is a red, and it's not clicky as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off one of the keys 
towards this one right here. Um, this is using a Kale Blues. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to do it on an the angle. There we go. And also on it, if um, there's a name right here that says Kale right here. But this one is a Kale Blue Switch, as you can see. When I click on it, you hear that clicking sound. So as you can see, this is one of the keyboards right here for this one particular keyboard right here that has different effects and stuff on this one. Um, let's just end that right there. So basically, this is the Kale Blue Switches right here, and this is the Kale Reds. Now, I prefer this game line. Um, as you're here in my video on the later part of the segment, I want to explain to you the difference between this switch and this switch, how it actually performs towards the games and stuff like that, how I like the sounds, and how I like everything like that. Uh, but that's going to be on a different part of the video. As you can see right there, there is the uh, program for it. You have different ones. You have the key ass um, assessments, so you can basically set up your macro key spaces and stuff right here. If you're in macro key management, um, your keyboard illuminations, you can basically put it on to your high 100s, um, going all the way down to 30% off, uh, breathing mode, all that good stuff. Here's the pulsation, um, how long you want it to breathe. You can make it like a slow breath, long breath, or a very fast breath right here. Here's all your profile setups right here. Right here is your assist, um, basically your sound time so you get different sounds on it so if I was to enable this if I hit exit it will actually play a uh, sound towards it your cell file editor so I believe you can create your own sounds whatever you want to put on it timing setups and update supports right there so we're going to talk about some more of this keyboard and we're going to get to uh, basically me just talking about what I like what I don't like about it if it's a good quality keyboard so Let's switch over to the main camera now. Okay guys, some things what I want to tell you about the mechanical keyboard right here is that uh, I love this mechanical keyboard. I was introduced to mechanical keyboards by getting the Corsair K65. That's basically the RGB, uh, RGB version. That's basically using MX Cherry Reds. Now, from using MX Cherry Reds, I've gained on many other keyboards, mechanical, that was using MX Cherry Reds, which they did not feel good at all. It just, every keyboard that I went out to go purchase did not have the feeling as a Casier K65 MX Cherry Red. It just, no keyboard had the feeling towards it. Um, I messed around with KO switches, which uh, um, I like KO switches. Um, now I'm using um, a KO switch, which is a KO. Um, blues, which is the same as MX Cherry's blues, but it has a lot of clickiness towards it. That's something that I do like. I love clicky keyboards. Now, um, Game DS, Game DS, they actually sent me on their own this keyboard to do a review for. Now, I've touched a lot of keyboards. Now, to tell you the truth, after messing with a lot of keyboards and going around and using uh, different keyboards that claims to be. Uh, MX Cherries or claims to be to be like Kells on Reds and stuff like that. After using a lot of these different type of keyboards that's using these third party uh, switches, aftermarket stuff like that, basically clones to MX Cherries, none of them felt like an MX Cherry switch until I got this, which is a TTC uh, Red switch. Now, um, when I first got it, I started messing with it. On the Casier one, it had a little bit of a um, clickiness to it, but it's not clicky. That's because it was a free flow uh, um, RGB mechanical keyboard uh, with the red switches. And um, when I started using this, I was like real skeptical about it. I was like, you know what? This is not going to feel like uh, this game keyboard. After playing Alien Isolation on this keyboard, my whole thought of red switches has changed now this is a good thing now if you were asked me would I have purchased this if it was uh, if I was looking for a keyboard for a budget no 
Now, before y'all jump at me for that, the reason why I'm saying no is I'm not familiar with TTC switches. As I stated before, I have used many other gaming keyboards that claim to be MX Cherry switches or claim to be a clone towards it. It just didn't have that feeling as an MX Cherry a red switch. Um, I used this keyboard, which is the TTC. Now, uh, I love it. Now, would I go out and buy another keyboard to try to with, uh, with the red switches? No, I've tried them before. Basically, this is like a one in a million type of keyboard because this is, I believe, is very rare, which is a TTC switch. Um, when you type in TTC on Google, you can come up with this one, which is the uh, Gamerless uh, Hermes Light uh, mechanical keyboard. It seems like this is the only company that's using it. Now, uh, TTC has been around for a while. Uh, that's been used in like gaming mouses and stuff like that um, for some of the mouses back then. But on well, this particular keyboard is using the TTC red switches. And to tell you the truth, the response time is like this. I fell in love with it. That's actually my main gaming keyboard now. I have two keyboards up here as you can see right here. I have multiple game keyboards, but I do have one for my iMac, which is a Kale Blue Switches for clickiness, as you can hear right here. And I have one down here, which is a RGB Rainbow um, Kale Blue Switch, which is very, very clicky. And right here, this is my actual gaming keyboard right here. This is what I'm gaming on now. I feel more comfortable using this. Reason for the fact I'm using this more is uh, when I use my Kel Blues and you hit the W key, it has like a little delay because the clicking is. So when I put pressure on it, it's not going to move until I actually click that thing. But when I click it, it's going to automatically run full speed. Meaning if I want to do like a little creepiness, I got to tap it and it gets distracting. Like when I play Alien Isolation, I want to creep. But I want to move at a slow, slow pace. When I hit that Kel switch, the blue Kel switch, and I try to creep, I can do a little dotting, but I gotta keep tapping it. But when I do a little bit of pressure, and I hit, I click in, I try to do it. It doesn't go as slow as I want it to be. It just moves faster, and I gotta try to release some of that tension. But I can't creep the way I want to creep. And when I got into the game, you know how some people get into that game and you feel like your, your keyboard is making noise in your character or the um, enemy is going to hear you by hitting that clicking sound, it gets distracting. With this, I was able to just slightly push the key, W key forward and I was able to creep real slow, half a move very creeping, creeping white like ninja type style and without making no noise, I felt like I was in the game, no distraction. When I was using my kill switches, I was getting distracted. Like, oh my god, they're going to hear this keyboard. You know how it is when you get directly inside the game. Because of that, it's very responsive. First person shooter games, action games, I have fun using it. It has a lot of features towards it. It has programs to set up on it. It has multiple things on it. As I said, what I go back and if I would have, if I would go back and um, purchase it now, now that I used it, yes, I will purchase it. But in the past, what I've would have purchased it in the past, um, knowing that it was a TTC, no, because I don't know nothing about TTC switches um, at the time as a keyboard. Um, I would have got it, but I would have tried to mess around with like going inside of the store and mess with it on display and see how I like the feelings. That's what I normally do when I come towards mechanical keyboards. I like to go inside stores and mess around the keys and see exactly how it feels towards when I'm gaming but like I said when I would have picked this up in the past no as I stated it's basically like have you ever got a piece of candy from a friend that you eat it and it's so damn good that you don't know the name of this particular candy or a particular thing that you ate and you go out and you start trying to find everything that uh, resembles it everything that try to taste like it but it just can't get that particular taste that particular ump that's in the flavor and nothing is the same nothing can compare to that first bite that you actually got from your friend that's basically what this keyboard is
have you messed with a Corsair? Fine and dandy. Mess with this. Every red switch that I messed with is not this. This is basically like a one in a million type of keyboard. It feels good on the hand, no pressure, relaxing. Don't sh I'm not stressing on my hands, anything at all. Um, I would pick this up. I would buy it. Um, like I said, it's best to listen to the reviews to find out exactly what you, you know what you're getting. Um, go out, and test it for yourself. Uh, if you can find it inside stores, mess around with it. It's a good keyboard. It's something to buy. Um, I think gaming is for sending this to me. Simple fact is, y'all introduced me to a new type of keyboard, TTC. Never heard it, and it's one of the best switches that I'm using now. Um, like I said, I use the MX Cherries on Reds. Uh, I like the feeling towards that, but this takes the cake. It makes the Cherry switches feel just feel some type of way. But that's my opinion. Uh, that's how I feel about this keyboard. It is a good gaming keyboard. As you can see, it's on the top of my desk. This is what I'm gaming on now. That's my permanent gaming setup. Um, when you see my future videos, you're going to see that this is always going to be on the top of my desk for gaming. That's now down there for just straight typing. And that's my gaming setup. So, make sure you get this keyboard. Um, if I had to rate this thing, i give this keyboard a straight 5 out of 5. Uh, there's nothing bad about this. It feels good in the hand. It, it's just one of those solid type keyboards. So, straight 5 out of 5. Make sure you go pick this up. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You'll find everything inside the description. And, you know, straight 5 out of 5 on this keyboard. I mean, there's nothing bad about it. I love it. And uh, I'm going to actually go into the website and find some more things. Um, looking for more of TTC switches from their website. Because now I'm in love with TTC switches now. And now I'm going to be looking for a lot of products that's TTC switching when it comes towards gaming keyboards. So, it's your boy Daddy Easy here. I bought you up a hacker on these time box. I'll catch you guys later. Remember, live it, love it, game it. Peace, deuces, one. And I'll catch you guys later.